we got a bonus clip uh, for worst honeymoon ever. Emily's asleep this morning. We fly out, uh, have to leave for the airport at noon. So we had an early start. Um, everywhere I go, someone sends me a message like, oh, you've got to go for this KOM. The, the, the locals always have a climb that, that no one's really heard of outside of that area. Um, but these are the ones where the locals do their intervals and it's a, it's a big deal for them. Um, so people have been messaging me, Moscow, you have to do Moscow. And I'm like, I've never heard of that. And like everyone, you know, we all heard of the, the big climb with the volcano. Um, but normally I go for these little KOMs and, and they're pretty respectfully, like they're always kind of easy. Um, but, but fine, everyone's messaging me. So the, the, the theme of my last few years is internet, fine, I'll, whatever, I'll do it. So, so here we are. So I got up early and, and we're going we're gonna to buzz over here. Um, just do a quick look at the, at the climb, two and a half miles, uh, 11%. All right, it's pretty steep. No big deal. Let's see who has the KOM currently. Remco? Remco. All right. All right, we'll give it a shot. I'm Phil Gunn. I was a pro cyclist for 10 years, racing all over the world. Now I'm retired, but I'm not done suffering on my bike, climbing mountains as fast as I can, and going on crazy adventures. I couldn't be the best at racing, and I'm definitely the worst at retiring. Welcome to Worst Retirement Ever. It's the bottom, nice quiet valley. So I'm doing a warm-up lap. It is completely insane to think in 13 minutes, you can go from all the way down there to, nope, the top's up there somewhere. Holy shit. Right. All right, let's go. Let's go. He's, the van's waiting here. Here I come on a flyby. All right, feeling good, feeling good. Ready to do it. Let's go. Nope, nope, Fiat, Fiat, board. Or let's try it again. Let's try it again. It's all right. Go ahead, Fiat. This is actually the second effort I had to abort. The first one, the camera didn't catch it. So Marcos doesn't mess around. You know, he's up there. He's he's waiting. He's going to direct traffic and block it for me. It's clear now. Go 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 go. All right. You got to come in hot for Australia Cayman. Okay, the segment's right there uh, around that bend. Uh, Maybe a little bit too warmed up from uh, from two abortive efforts, but I'm I'm gonna turn. I always turn the volume down on the engine. I'm gonna leave a little bit here uh, so you can hear it struggling. It's a little bit of engine noise in there, um, so you can hear the poor van trying to catch me. Uh, you can also you know see it in my legs. 540 watts uh, this early on is you know it's probably just not a great idea to be completely honest. Um, but you know, you don't think in this kind of a thing. And I guess, you know, I, I did I did a little recon as we were driving over. Um, so at, other than seeing the super stacked world tour field, like I said in the in the previous going up uh, going up the volcano uh, in Tenerife, you just don't know what these guys were doing. You know they're good. I know that that the entire leaderboard uh, is hilariously stacked. But what I don't know is, you know, this one, Remco, you know, he did uh, 100 miles that day. This was at the beginning of the ride, but, you know, how was he pacing and how hard? And the answer I learned pretty quickly with the, the live segment at Wahoo was he was going, he was going flat fuck. Um, so I, you know, when I'm doing 500 watts and losing time, that's, uh, it's, it's, we're not getting this KOM. And that was, that was pretty clear. But I also knew there was a big gap in the whole top 10 uh, to a bunch of those guys. So, you know, Remco was on one that day, but but let's see how well we can do. So let's let's back it down <laughs> to 430 watts <laughs> and uh, and see if we can hold that for, you know, for, for a few minutes. On the steeper grading, it does give you um, two more watts, a little bit more than I would get, you know, on a flat road, um, but the heart rate's already up and already I'm like, okay, Phil, all right, let's, let's see some 300s. Uh, on this before we start seeing 200s or having to stop for a break. Um, this this road was completely insane, by the way. As you can see, uh, these little cement barricades, they 
this road just goes over a pass, which apparently does get traffic. I didn't see a whole lot. They told me you know, it was, I had to get an early start anyway because I had to get back to the hotel, uh, change, shower, pack my bike, and then get on a plane for a total of 20 hours between various brutal connections and sleeping on the floor in Newark. Um, but yeah, here we go. It's just 16%. I got the, I'm on 11 speed on this bike. So we've got a 28 in the back, but I've just, it's just a weird thing to be grinding 60, 60 RPMs ever. Um, but that's all the power I've got. Uh, I wonder what, what Remco had for, uh, let's not think about it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so I, I, I definitely disobeyed my rule of thirds on this one. The first third should be easy. The middle third should be steady uh, or should feel steady, and the, and the final third should feel hard. Um, I, I, managed, I managed to not quite explode. Uh, I am doing the full – I'm just going to show you the full effort on this one because, you know, it's kind of a short climb, and, and I want you to feel my pain. Um, you know, you don't have to grind up this. Look at this view. Just an insane, kind of middle of nowhere, but not really. Uh, they said after after 10 a.m., they said there's like tour buses, which is blows my mind because the van had trouble getting around some of these hairpins, um, not to mention me. Would not want to, honestly, this would not be any fun to ride down. Just as soon as you get your speed up, you got to slam your brakes into something. Um, here's a, a relief in the gradient at only a measly 9%. Since our almond trees on the left, that pink flower, we'd see a bunch of those. Um, like, I've used those in California, but not so much in the wild. Here's the fan. Earn your, earn your keep fan. There you go. So now we're still, I'm still going too hard. And I know when I'm looking at my power, I know I'm going too hard. Uh, I know I can't, you know, av I can't sustain mid 400s on an effort this long, but it's also, it's steep and, and what are you gonna do? And uh, yeah, I, not, not my best day. You know, one of those early flight unplanned KOM, I was not expecting to do this. It was just like, you know, it's here and I might not be ever again. So uh, let's let's give her a rip. Um, I just had too many messages about it. And I do I do like to obey the internet. That's that's kind of how I fell into this whole mess. I was getting a lot of uh, a lot of likes on my on my Instagram when I posted like a Strava leaderboard. So I was like, all right, I'll do more of that. If you guys like it, I'll, uh, I'll get more KOMs. So, you know, I appreciate you guys and, uh, you know, I hate you. Because here's here we are. Yeah, four thirty. Yeah, so I was, you know, this one I, I did do a warm up. I I rode for for twenty minutes. I got my heart rate up a little bit. Um, I'm on the same warm up protocol I, I ever was. Yeah, four sixty, seventy two RPMs. That's another reason you just you you cook it at the beginning, is you just you're just trying to get up the thing. Look how narrow. It's it's hard to express how how tight. And silly this road is. I mean, you can see there's no yellow. I'm, I'm taking up half of it. I actually am taking up uh, the road on this one. Thankfully, there were no cars going up uh, the other way, at least at this point. I don't remember if I got past. I guess we'll see. Who knows? I, like, you know, if you're up here, you have... I don't know what your business could be. There we go. They always seem to come in the hairpin. So that guy cost me, you know, at least uh, a minute with that, uh, that bad turn. I'm going up lucky. So, so already here, I'm, you know, I'm probably down uh, 20, 30 seconds on the KOM, probably more like 30. Uh, and, and I know, you know, you're not, you're not making that up, but let's just do the best effort we can. I think if I, I think if I knew this climb and knew, I think if I came back, you know, today when I'm, when I'm filming this, I'd probably squeeze about 20 seconds out of it, to be honest, a little experience, a little knowledge in the, in the pacing, um, more just the, the reality check of we don't attempt to go KOM pace, 
still for for everyone who um you know i like to complain about pain but it's all i i, I love this stuff for everyone who messaged me uh that i have to do this climb uh you know it, it complicated my my trip in the last day but you were right uh, I, I did have to do this climb look at this right always in the hairpins always in the hairpins it's kind of a joke because there's nothing but hairpins on this thing and he's missing me. I'm doing 470 and you can't even see it. Come on, man. There you go. It's just, sometimes you just see these roads just like, who paved this? Who cut this open? Who, why on earth would anyone drive here? What, you got work in the valley? I don't know what goes on. Always in the hairpins. There's just a car in every hairpin. He's got I swear, on the way on the way down, we saw uh, tourist buses, like big old. I I, I can't imagine. Uh, can't imagine being that bus driver. What do they pay a bus driver on one of those like you know forty foot, full on, like you know team whatever? Because they're getting down. Imagine being the tourist. 170 beats a minute. That's kind of, it's not quite my max. Well, I guess, you know, we'll see what the max is. We'll have to guess. I can get to 190 if I'm fresh. I was, I was pretty far from fresh by the end of this trip. Listen, I enjoyed my honeymoon. What do you want? Here's a part where like, okay, I got a few minutes left. I'm gonna have to uh, back it off on 10% grade. So I'm certainly hemorrhaging time here, but uh, yeah, it's, it's not going to be a pretty power file. That's what if, if I just came back and said, all right, let's, all right, but let's do 415 to 420 uh, real steady. That, that would definitely have a better, a better time. I'll come back next year and I'll pace it better, but I'll be 38 years old and, and slower. That's the race. That's the race I'm doing. The race against the, the age clock. Motivation is no problem. The motive. It's honestly, it's hard to not do this stuff. That's what's broken in me. It was cool. Like as the. The thing is, I guess you don't want to be here in the afternoon. But when the when the sun uh, lights up that whole valley, it's gotta be nuts. When we got there. It was fog. Uh, like you couldn't just just driving over the top. It was over over 20 minutes. It burned off. Um, but you saw the clips at the beginning when, I was, when we were driving down. So I did a lot of races just ripping around. With those little those those cement things to the right, uh, I I never did, but I've seen it. You don't want to crash into those on a downhill. Let's put it that you do not. Uh, that'll, that'll that'll whatever goes in there is breaking your frame, your bones. Um, I've seen it, it's ugly. As well, you go uphill, on the worst tournament ever. Always in the hairpins. Always the cars in the hairpins. That cost me at least a minute. So, so far I've lost uh, 17 minutes in hairpins on this one. All right, 3%. This is a, this is the easy part. Now, now we got to start squeezing it. We're getting, we're getting close to the end, but there's no, there's no sprinting. The way, A, the way I pace this, there's no sprinting. <laughs> And B, at 17%. So, there's also no sprint. I was hoping this was the top, because I saw, like, an umbrella, and then, but I knew from the live segment I had a bit of a ways to go. This guy's, uh, this guy's selling coffee over there. Fantastic. I should have gone back down for some. I think it looked like, look how far is left. There's actually, like, a lot of climb left. That's one, like, I gotta be at the top of that in, in a minute, two minutes. It doesn't seem reasonable, any of it. It's 
Poor Van. The Van deserves a raise. What are these cars doing? Where are they going? If you were one of those cars, uh, leave a comment. Tell me where you were going from and to and why you're driving on the... Because there is a highway. Okay, now we're sprinting. So we're good at this point. I'm, I'm a minute something down on Remco. Um, but I know I'm still... I know I'm going to be in the top 10. So horribly, you know, every second counts. I'm the only guy in the top 10 who hasn't won a Grand Tour stage. Well, that's to be proud of or be embarrassed by whatever yeah when this finishes I'm, I'm gonna have to run to the hotel pack a bicycle I did shower but uh, a lot of the hotel had the Nespresso pods which were brutal I was, I was smashing those getting my stuff done did not sleep on this flight. Think how much my legs burn. Can you feel? You should be able to feel your legs in pain right now. Solidarity. You should feel this. 77 RPMs. Keeps telling me to sprint. 50 meters is a long way, this gradient. There we go. That's the top, that, that other van. So now I'm squeezing out whatever I've got, which is, you know, mid 400. So I never blew up. Uh, I didn't have any pop left. I, I paced it. I paced worse. Put it that way. I've paced worse. say that's for worst time ever worst honeymoon ever down like 11 20 seconds on GC over four stages it was fun though